Hello and welcome to this special news bulletin from the feared and famous 77th Brigade. Today we take a look at a news article from the Belfast Telegraph dated 3rd of January 2024. Northern Ireland judge hits out at pseudo-legal nonsense. After defendant insists he is a supreme being, a judge has warned people against using freemen of the land and supreme being defenses, saying such behavior could see costs awarded against them. District Judge Michael Ranahan made the remarks in a detailed ruling after a case of alleged criminal damage was repeatedly delayed by the accused's conduct in Dungannon Magistrates Court. Paul Kevin Canavan 41 from Milrus Avenue, Dungannon, is accused of damaging an electricity meter on August 17, 2022, but insists he is a supreme being and does not consent to the charge. He has frequently attended court refusing to enter the dock or be addressed by his surname, contending he is Paul Kevin and making a special appearance. Following numerous and often dramatic standoffs in court, which have also seen him held in custody for contempt, Judge Ranahan drew a line under the behavior and the plethora of nonsense that common men, sovereign men, or indeed supreme beings use as a defense. He noted the approach is used by a number of people who put themselves either outside or above the law, he added. To date, the defendant has been dismissive, rude, obstructive, confrontational, and generally misbehaves. This court does its best to assist personal litigants, but the defendant has been the worst example I have encountered. He has consistently wasted court time and public money. Canavan, said the judge, has people attending court with him who have also been disruptive, including his partner who behaved particularly badly when he was sent into custody for contempt. I am also advised of their rude, confrontational behavior in dealings with court staff. Here have also been incidents of these people recording prosecutors leaving the building and I assume that is under police investigation. The defendant is not above the law, nor does he attend by special appearance. He calls himself a supreme being. I have never met one and would never be so arrogant to represent myself as one. I find this concept abhorrent. The defendant wants to be treated differently, but I will not do so. He disputes his name is Canavan and claims the case against him is a mistaken identity. He calls himself Paul Kevin and adds the common touch of such persons. With a fingerprint in colored ink overlaying his signature, nothing takes him outside the jurisdiction of this or any other court. It may be that those using these tactics think they are being clever. They simply are not. It was pointed out. Canavan described his birth certificate as fraudulent and, when asked who perpetrated this, accepted it was potentially his parents. Judge Ranahan said, rather than troll the internet for mumbo-jumbo, the defendant should seek legal advice. But I fear that will again fall on deliberately deaf ears. He claims acts and statutes are not law, which is another example of pseudo-legal nonsense. The word understand also appears to cause him confusion. As he repeatedly utters with theatrical flourish, I stand under no one. It appears he claims that unless he consents to laws, he isn't bound by them. That is rubbish. I will not allow this case to be delayed further. I will continue to assist him as a personal litigant, but that will depend on whether he listens. He's his own worst enemy. He and those who accompany him disrupted this court. And I am stopping that now. In short, I am onto them. How dare they abuse the court that services the rest of this jurisdiction? The tactics employed are counterproductive. Concluding, Judge Ranahan warned Canavan the court had the power to order costs against him for the way he has conducted proceedings to date and in future. The criminal damage case will be heard as a contest on January 24th.